I'm Dr. Tom Daniel. I'm the course director of this General Anthoracic Simulation Surgery course. I welcome you on behalf of myself and my faculty. The purpose of this site is to allow surgical residents and faculty in the developing world to practice commonly encountered operations in general and thoracic surgery. During this course, learners will progress through online lessons and complete review questions after finishing each lesson. After completing all of the lessons, learners will be presented with a certification quiz that presents the same questions in a randomized fashion. A score of at least 80% is required to pass the quiz. Learners will have access to a pre-certification document that they can print upon successful completion. Satisfactory completion of the online certification quiz will be followed by participation in the simulation surgery workshop. Upon successfully completing both the online and in-person components, the instructor will approve the learner and they will have access to a completion certificate. Thank you and enjoy the experience. Thoracic, or the general surgeon to the chest surgery, and they are nipple, and it's generally where the fifth intercostal space is anteriorly. Mm -hmm. That's a good place to start the incision. Why fifth? Twelve ribs. Fifth is sort of what shows you right on the hollow, and for most thoracic operations, that's where you want to be. If you're watching a soccer game and want to see the whole play, you don't sit down and want to go over. And watch the other end. It's pretty much the same thing. If you're off by one in a space, the operation is a little bit harder. Like this. However, your judgment. You may be going in as you will in an hour and a half to repair a softness that's burst. It's down here. So instead of doing the fifth, you just count down to the seventh in the space. Yes. Same incision through the skin. Yes. So uh, the important thing is to allow your incision to avoid the scab, cutting the scab. So the other two landmarks, nipple, start the incision, and then I want each of you to feel this. What you're trying to do through muscle layers and skin is feel the tip of the scab. Yes. Because you want the incision to go two centimeters below that. So try to feel it. And if you feel it just like this, you can sort of get an idea, but again, anesthesia moves the shoulder around for you, you have a better way of feeling. And I generally, when I make a decision, that's so critical, I take a little piece of marking pen, sterile, and mark it here on the skin. Ladies? Don't agree until you really feel it. Push his his scalp. Did you feel Yeah. The other landmark, the third landmark, is the posterior border of the scapula, And that's easy to feel. It's not so easy to feel in fat Americans. <laughs> 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 in Rwanda, it's easy. Okay, for purposes of this illustration, I don't want to cut this and have to remake another one. Mm -hmm. So let's say, okay, you got it all straight, you make the decision, instead of along the rib line, mm -hmm. come here and curve down and come back up. That takes you to the next layer, but let's ask uh, you take an anatomy. Mm -hmm. What do you expect to go through after you run through the skin and set the plant tissue? If you're going through the posterior lateral chest, what muscle would you encounter? So there's the serratus. Yeah, serratus. Mm -hmm. Right, serratus anterior. Yeah, That's the deepest muscle. What muscle lies on top of that that you come to first? Mm -hmm. Worth thinking about. Serratus What? Is, is the What's that chin up muscle? That when you do a chin up, your body builders. End up with this big muscle here because they do this all the time. It starts back on your back and ends up inserting on your humerus. What is that? Trapezius. Trapezius is here, but that's more medium. It's 
Just in the store. Just in the store. Yes. 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 That's the next one. This is my own. There it is. There's your assistance. Right there is your decision. You come in and you see the assistance. Now, generally you can't retract that out of the way. You don't have much space. So we generally cut it. And you cut it pretty much along the line of the river. So this model just is to show it. The assistance doesn't have places. <laughs> this is just part of the simulation. But I'll, it, it helps me teach when it becomes closed a little bit about some things to remember. Because if you don't know how to put it all together again, you end up with the rib, the muscles sort of putting half of it in, all this stuff over it. It just doesn't work that way. Okay, let's assume you cut the testicles, and there's your serratus. The serratus originates from the posterior border underneath the scapula. And it serves like fingers. Serratus, I think, is Latin for fingers. Serves on all the anterior ribs. <coughs> generally, we don't cut this. You can, but it's one more muscle to put together. It's generally, it stretches enough to retract the back of the And that's your goal is to retract it out of the way so you can identify the inner space. And that's the challenge on the chest. You know, the ribs aren't numbered like they are in your anatomy book. So you have to figure out all these ribs. Which one is the fit in space? Where's the fit in space grip? How do you think we figure that out? How do you know where to go? As I said, if you miss the in space up or down, you make life a little harder. Here's where anatomy helps you. You can walk this reef saying, yeah, well, you can't reset in this. The muscle fall down there, the other muscles from the anatomy come up. You can't count. What you can, if you know anatomy, know that if you put your fingers under the scapula, under the serratus, it's not bound to the ribs. If it was bound to the ribs, we couldn't do it by shoulder. It's, it's a wonderful muscle. It moves all around. Because it moves around, it means you can feel under that with that kind of the section. So that's where you go. And then the trick is to feel the highest rib, the first rib. And count down. And there's a technique to that because the ribs aren't like that. You don't go four, three, two, one, go like this. Four, three, two, and maybe that's first rib. Mm -hmm. But the first rib is a little further and a little bit behind. Mm -hmm. So to, to learn that in your mind, what that feels like, I want you now to put your hand in. I can help you a little bit by this instrument, can't be retracted. I'll put this under here, and you've started your section. So now in front of everybody, this whole crowd here, reach in there and feel the first rib. And when you think you have the first rib, keep your finger there, and we will open up the serratus and see how what we do. Here, the man says, This is the first rib. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been embarrassing for any fun of medical students? <laughs> you got it? Yeah. 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 All right, Monty, your turn. Monty learned yesterday. He got it yesterday, too. All right. You guys aren't spectators. Tell me your names again. Elsa. 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 Heiser. H-E-I-Z-A. Thank <laughs> you. 